and we save the best for last. Well, actually, we do have another SL that's waiting to come up for it, but this is number four out of five SLs that we bought in mid-Ohio. It's got 1,100 miles on it. It's the first year of the SL125, and the tin set is 100% original. Uh, this is original paint from 1971. It's 48 years old, strato blue metallic. You can still see some of the metallic flake. It's not perfect, but it's original with no dings or dents. Um, this is also the original seat cover, bars, levers, mirrors, and the gauge cluster, of course. Uh, take a good look around the bike. Um, this is an absolute stunner. I believe these are the original tires as well. Um, the rear tail piece is nice and straight. The rear fender is nice and straight. The bike's never been down. It's a, the original shocks. The forks are straight. The bike was never smashed in anything. This is something that was barn or garage kept for a very, very long time. That's the original horn as well. Not too many replacement parts on this bike, but the gentleman that we bought it from had a small collection of SLs and he was a garage mechanic. He's a guy who cleaned the tanks, cleaned the carbs, fresh oil, and got these fired up. And it being a Japanese, a, you know, vintage Japanese Honda, um, it didn't take a whole lot. So this thing's super tight. She's got 1,100 miles. Um, and we just brought it through the shop. Chris gave it the thumbs up. We did a compression test, tested perfectly. I believe this had 160 PSI. I was reading the sheet, it's either 155 or 160 PSI, and I'll note that in, in the description. Um, runs exactly how you'd expect. Gearbox feels like a bike with a thousand miles on it. Um, these are the original tires and they are checked, but I mean, take a good look at them and good luck finding another 48 year old Honda with the original tires. They're out there, but not the ones that haven't ridden. So uh, check it out, the original grips, the original switches, lots of these you see are mouthed up or discolored, and then the original switch here with this plastic piece that's still present. This isn't a cheap reproduction switch, and the horn is still present, the horn button, I should say. Mirrors have some pitting on them. Um, up top here, I think the chrome shows exceptionally if we're going over everything. Um, no pitting or real imperfections on the pipe guard. The wheels look really nice. A little bit of corrosion on the four flowers, but I mean, I've pulled new bikes out of the crate that are 20 years old and even they have corrosion on the four flowers. That's just a given. Um, let's check out the inside of the tank, shall we? Um, wow. <laughs> um, the rest of these SLs, I think a handful of them had POR 15 coatings. Uh, one had some rust issues, but it was cleaned out well. This one looks like it's like new. Um, no dried fuel, uh, no rust issues. It's the original metal finish with no coatings and no imperfections. Um, this is a bike where, well, if this was parked for 30 years, let's say, without being ridden, there was zero fuel in the tank. Uh, modern fuel, the ethanol will attract water, and that's how you see um, well, tanks get wrecked from sitting. And I'm trying to find a microfiber so we can clean the fuel off of that tank real quick. Got a drip on the top here. But, uh, guys, Strato Blue Metallic, first year of the SL125. This is definitely the nicest SL that we're bringing through this week from an originality standpoint. The fuel started dripping down. Rookie mistake. But, uh, guys, Thing's ready to go, it's got a new battery in it. Headlight, taillight working as they should. No turn signals came on this model from stock, but even the reflectors are intact. I mean, it is what it is, guys. Good luck finding one that's this low of miles um, with original paint that hasn't been smashed. So, uh, let me demo it for you, and let's get this show on the road. The pipe too, I mean, just get a, a close look. I don't think we did any touch up on this pipe. Shocks look good. The only thing that I'll say on this bike is that the side badges are missing, which is an absolute shame because the rest of the bike, it, it looks the business. I mean, this is it. Check it out, Eric, the neutral indicator works. 
um, leave the key on and kill the battery or have an old battery. I mean, it won't even start. It's a battery points ignition. Or you'll have issues with It's cool the cucumber hasn't been started yet today. It has to be set to on. It's very important. I'm not sure why we haven't figured that out yet, but. buying a bike from a garage mechanic that had the carb clean but lord knows lord knows it wasn't a real carb clean or how about the guys who say oh yeah the thing's ready to go and we bring it in and mark puts a 15 hour work order into making it actually ready to go fairly easily. I saw 125. I mean, this is something you think, well, it was meant to go on the trails, off-road, cruise around town, pull up, depress all the ladies on your SL 125, meant for younger riders or, or guys just getting into it, or women, um, or some big guys who need to get around the pits when you're going racing. So, I mean, it's a Classic Honda, nothing crazy in the power department, clearly, but that's not why you buy a bike like this. You buy it for nostalgia and collectability and the value. Because, I mean, let's be honest, these are few and far between these days and just getting harder to find. guys like me found these bikes and destroyed them and the ones that were passed around did not survive and those are the ones you find out in the out in the woods or in the junkyards that are totally snapped up frames blown motors and wheels that are just beat to pulse guys good luck fitting on this one and god bless america 